Did you hear that? I just broke through. Hello, Electro Jeweler Jordan here, and today we're going to drill this crystal brace. And we have a natural inclusion here. It's actually like a little vug. So I'm going to take advantage of that and then drill side to side through that vug. I'm going to start with a 0.8 millimeter uh, after I put a divot in it. And that divot will um, help me start the drill hole. So I'm going to make a divot where that natural lug is with my marking pen, I mean draw, align to the other side so I could see where to put the other hole. And let's put it about there. So that looks about straight. Chrysoprase is kind of difficult to, to drill. I will probably burn out a bit or two while doing this. Other chalcedonies and agates that are dyed are pretty easy to drill because the crystal structure is not as compact. Got pretty hot right away. Ah, broke it. Put the divot in. You want to keep the bit cool and you want to go in and out. You want to you know, remove that dust uh, material that you're grinding away in the stone. Keep on cooling it down and washing it away with the water. Oh. Alright, so we're ab about center now. Now this side is going to be tricky because there's that natural bug and it's going to want to um, drift. So I got to keep this straight as possible. So I'm going to switch to a 1mm I'm going to switch to the longer bit now. Here's the one mm, but longer. There we go. We're through. Now the hole doesn't look perfectly straight to me. So what I'm doing, bringing this side up and check out the hole. Straight and true all the way through. Test the route. And there we have a pendant drilled faceted natural chrysoprase. And this is the diamond bit size and sequence. Now that the stone is drilled, you have to clean out the hole. And you could go about that a few different ways. I generally put it in the ultrasonic for about 10 minutes. But but if you don't have an ultrasonic, an easy way is to clean the hole with the string. So what I do is have a thick string, thick as can fit in the hole. So I just put the bead in some soapy water and I have a thick cotton string here. Put that into the hole and pull. And I just go back and forth a few times. out and the hole is clean. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. If you're bright or curious or you need electroforming supplies or information, please visit our website below. And remember, keep on plating and creating.